we will go to finally keyword basically finally is also a block finally is a block which contains clean of code so what do you mean by clean of code basically finally is a block which contain clean of clean of code clean of code means that means once a finally block once a finally block is present once a finally block is present it must execute whether an exception is handled or exception is not handled that means in a class suppose we will represent a finally block the concept is saying once a finally block is present it must execute if the exception will handle it will execute if exception will not handle still it will execute once finally block is present it must execute we will see by taking an example that we will get the clarity so right click on package new class let's suppose a uh, program name is class name is finally let example Select main method. Click on finish button. Same concept. Suppose uh, let I have an array. Suppose hundred, two hundred, three hundred, comma four hundred, comma five hundred. Int result equals to a r. Of five divided by system dot out of print ln let high system dot out of print ln let hello system dot out of print ln A R of zero divided by five. So you see, so an array is given. That array name is A R, containing five number of data items. And this statement, when the control is coming to execute this statement, end result equals to A R of five by two. So this line representing an exception. This example already we have taken. So five means five index data item. That is sixth data item. Sixth data item we are trying to access, but there is no sixth data item. This is zeroth index, one index, two index, three index, four index data item. So there is no five index data item. So hence this is an exception. Now I will write within a try block as per the concept. So which line representing exception? That line I will represent within try block. Then immediately we have to write the catch block. Suppose I don't know which type of exception is arising. Suppose I will write arithmetic exception. Arithmetic exception. Let system dot out dot print ln. Let Java accepts. Let it. So here, 
which type of exception is arising inside the try block or a index out of bounds exception. But inside the catch block, I have written arithmetic exception. So it is mismatching. So the type of exception raised inside the try block and the type of exception reference, if it is mismatching, then catch block will not execute. That means this is the handling code, it will not execute. If catch block will not execute, remaining statement will not execute. You see, now I will save control S, then I will run. So you see which output is coming, same exception will arise. Java dot lang dot Java dot lang dot array index out of bounds exception. Okay, so happy exception that we got because type of exception raised inside the try block, that type of exception reference I have not taken. Suppose my exception is not handling, but anyhow we have to execute these three statements. My task is exception is not handling. I am not able to handle the exception, but anyhow this statement, remaining statement anyhow, I have to execute. Then what I will do? So I will write within a finally block. I will write within a final block. Now control S. So what the concept is saying? Concept saying is saying if the exception is not handling, then control will check whether the programmer have written finally block or not. So if the exception is not handling, the control will check first. Is there any finally block present in this class or not? If finally block is present, first finally block will execute. Hi, hello, AR of 0. AR of 0 is 100. 100 by 5, that is 20. So first, hi, hello, 20 will come to the picture. Then, as usual, whatever the exception that we have, an index out of bounds exception will arise. So, if exception is not handled, the first the control will check is there any finally block present? Yes, it is present. So, if present, that finally block will execute first. So, you see, so now I will save control S. Now, I will hit run. So, we will see, first output came hi, hello, 20, then exception that we got. That means, finally block executed. Exception is arising, but before that, finally block have executed. So, that's one point that we had written. So, once finally block is present, it must execute whether an exception is handled or exception is not handled. So, if exception is handled, so as usual, as usual it will execute. Suppose if you will write R index out of bounds exception control S. Now I will hit run. So happily I got the output Java exception, then hi, hello, 20. So if the exception is handled, so so the exception raised inside the try block that type of exception reference I have taken because every exception is one one built in class class name something this is reference a e this is user defined whatever you can take okay so it is matching if it is matching then catch block will execute this is handling code Within double quote a message I have written that is our exception if this message is coming to the picture that means we will sure catch block executed means exception handled. So once exception handled, then it is a final block as usually it will execute. So overall we got the clarity and we observed once finally block is present, 
it must execute. We saw when exception is not handled, it is finally block executed, and when exception is handled, finally block executed. Okay, so this is all about finally block. So finally, basically, it is a block which is containing clean of code. Clean of code. In this sense, we are saying clean of code. It is executing merge. Exception is handled, it will execute. If exception is not handled, it will execute. So, I hope you got the clarity.